he needs to maybe, well, if he could hit the Vikings with some Banelings while they were on the ground, that could be very, very, very good. Um, or if he could maybe run in and try and pick off some of these bases or something like that, then he can get back into this game. I just heard the sound of... I don't know what I heard the sound of, actually. I thought it was some Banelings morphing, but um, that was kind of weird. There's some weird sounds in StarCraft 2. This little building makes noise. I don't know why it randomly makes noise. Anyway, um, so Demaga getting a lot of Zerglings here and a lot of Queens. Uh, he's transferring drones down to his natural, which means he's almost mined out his main. Here comes um, TLO running in with a mass of Vikings and Hellions and uh, lots of units on the ground here. Lots of Zerglings on the ground, though. Hellions, I don't know if they're going to be able to do enough against that many Zerglings. He needed some Banelings in with that mix, though. He, he's at the Baneling nest, but he hasn't produced any Banelings. He's not really microing either. He needs to just not A-move. He needs to surround those Vikings. Maybe he was anticipating them lifting up into the air, but that is a ton of Queens! Wow, look at all these Queens! Um, where are these drones going exactly? Um, not sure where they're going. Maybe they're grouped up with that units. Here comes in a few Zerglings ran in there, got a little bit too close to that planetary fortress. He's going to have to fall back. So Demaga has a momentary military advantage at this point with that many Queens and not quite as many Vikings as there were before. Um, he's going to be able to do pretty well against that force. They can't really land... Uh, and these queens are going to be... And there we go. Tons of Banelings. Oh, my God. Tons of Banelings. Spends all of his gas on Banelings while he uses uh, extra minerals to produce two more hatcheries there. Here he comes in for a bit of a timing attack before the Banelings get in. There's no Zerglings, but there are Banelings this time. He's moving in. A few Zerglings are there. He's transfusing the heck out of his... Um, his queens as he moves in, he can't get too close to that planetary fortress. Is the planetary fortress going to go down? He's going to try and repair it. Too many Banelings coming in. Massive amounts of Banelings totally take out the PF. And the Vikings having to fall back to that choke point. The queens are going to have to fall back. They're just too slow off that creep. He's put down a couple creep tumors over here. And look at this. Continuing to transfuse um, the queens in front as they take hits. Can't quite press this attack in until he has um, that creep getting a little bit closer. But wow! This is ridiculous! Mass queens and use this. I love this strategy. This is completely awesome. I have never seen this before. Mass queens, and maybe this is something that people have been doing that I just didn't know about, but this is absolutely brilliant. Mass queens and using the mass queens to get massive creep around so you can creep up the entire map so the queens are actually useful as, uh, as army members, basically, because um, they're not useful if they don't have creep. They're just so slow. Um, Anyway, here comes, he's making another uh, command center over here. I'm not sure what he's making on the edge of the creep. Perhaps he's planning on making a defensive planetary fortress. Um, I'm not sure why he didn't put it back here. But he may just be planning on making a kind of a wall here. Let's see what he does with this. Um, yeah, the creep is now incursing. In is that a word? Incursing on this command center. He's going to fall it back now. Um, Zerglings are running in. He needs to micro them a little bit better this time, though. Now they lift up. They're going to kill the Overseer, but they're not going to be able to do anything about th the Queens, though. He hasn't been producing the Banshees. You would expect him to have... Never mind. BC's in the mix, y'alls. Um, he's going to lose this base, not the Command Center itself. Lots of Banelings morphing now. I don't know if um, Damaga knows about this base. Actually, we can tell. We can go here. And he does not know about that base. Um, so he, otherwise he would bust down those rocks and destroy that base pretty easily. He thinks he's got TLO on the run. He thinks he's got TLO pinned back into this base while he's mining at a couple bases, including the high yield, um, when in fact TLO is not really stopped at all. And TLO's going to fly over the gap here. Very brilliant. These queens are still on creep, not that mobile. So it's going to take him a long time to fall, fall back over here to try and deal with these Vikings. And so now TLO can use his mobility, basically, to kind of go around and pick stuff off. And um, and and these queens are just going to be too slow to get back. He's going to have to get something a little bit more mobile because those queens cannot attack and defend at the same time. Here he comes in with a lot of Zerglings. Hellions are going to go down. Massive bunkers are just going to get eaten alive by these total group of Banelings. What? Oh no, the Banelings stuck in the corner. Here they go. There they go in. They must not be not set to attack buildings. Um, Vikings in the meantime have landed and are battling these queens. He needed some ground support. He needs some of these Zerglings back with those as well. He's got several Banelings around, um, but they're not going to be able to do anything. <laughs> Sorry, Banelings. You live on the ground instead of the air in this game. Uh, you're no longer Scourge. Wow, Battlecruiser almost dead here. Um, but these, oh man, these queens, he's pumped out a lot of queens more. He needs to get some more Zerglings in the mix, though, to try and keep those Vikings from landing on the ground. In the meantime, TLO's base in ruins. All of his forces, get, all of his buildings getting destroyed here. He's almost supply blocked at this point. He's got a couple battlecruisers out, and um, 
like I said, the patch just happened, so this is the point where the, the, um, uh, sorry, the, psh, 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 Battle Cruisers still do base 10 damage against the ground. Um, is it base 10? I guess it is base 10. Uh, anyway, here come some Zerglings finally, and there's still Vikings alive! Wow, it, all of his queens are dead, and Teal, uh, I'm not sure why he doesn't have more, uh, well, never mind, that's why he doesn't have more, because he didn't have any gas. His drones got killed. Finally, some uh, Zerglings coming in, and he just has to lift up, and the battle cruisers can deal with the Zerglings. This is beautiful. He can't attack the air because of these uh, Vikings. If he uses ground attack, um, I mean, he can't attack on the ground. Here we go. There's what I was looking for the whole game. Hydralisks. He has needed Hydras so badly this whole game. Finally gets some Hydras out. Finally produces a Hydralisk den and gets some Hydras out, and they're going to be able to do them so much better. Another Hydralisk den being produced. Uh, maybe, I think he may have just lost one over here is what happened there. I missed that. Um, so he's going to be able to produce more Hydras. Uh, Hydras, again, pretty slow, on not on creep, but again, there's so much creep around that they're going to be able to be pretty fast at this point. Looks like Tilo has managed to clean things up in his main base with these battle cruisers. There's just tons of Zerglings and no, no anti-air. If he just had, you know... Uh, well, some Hydras in with that army, for instance, then he would have been able to deal with those battle cruisers, and the Zerglings would have wiped TLO out. But as it is, this battle cruiser doesn't have any kills on it, and one of the battle cruisers must have a bunch of kills on it from cleaning up the Zerglings. Here he comes in trying to go after this high yield base again, and the Zerglings are waiting. The Hydralisks are waiting as well. Demaga has fought himself back into this game rather effectively with the, just a few Hydralisks, basically. I mean, he has lost so many queens, but they did so much damage as well. Um, wow, both players basically wiping out each other's bases except for a little bit. Both players fighting each other off barely with a few choice units. A couple battle cruisers holding the, the main. And there we go. There's the battle cruiser with 24 kills. A, f a dozen Hydralisks coming out at a clutch moment to uh, protect the Demaga's base from TLO. TLO still has his base over here, and he's produced more units over here. He's got a couple more um, starports over here. starting to produce Banshees as well, uh, which is what he's going to need. He's going to need more Banshees, and like this, he's, he's still got the cloak upgraded. It doesn't go away, obviously, um, so he can continue um, using cloak against these guys. Just, you know, you forget to make another overseer because there's all Vikings. Um, where are these Banshees going now, though? Anyway, Battle are coming in here just trying to do some harassment. Battle are not generally a harassment unit. It's going to go down pretty quick to these Hydras, though. And... Oh, wow. Almost, almost uh, died, but not quite. I'm not sure. It looks like he could have gotten an extra shot off. Anyway... Um, Banshee's running around and doing some harassment as well. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to switch between these tabs more often. I need to get used to them more. I'm, I'm still working on it, getting used to this game here. Oh, wow. I think he... Th either that was a misclick, or he targeted his own, uh, geyser, maybe to get rid of it or something. I don't know. Was it in the way, perhaps, or something like that? I don't think it can get in the way. Anyway, um, TLO still producing lots of, uh, air units. Where's the army uh, unit stab that's where we are um, eight Vikings and what what's going on oh I hit P thought I think it was production and it was actually paused sorry um, anyway so he's still got that group of air units he's got uh, eight Vikings a few banshees a few battle cruisers not a ton I like that running in sniping uh oh but he's going straight for the debris he's gonna try and pick off the debris and then get in there and take out more uh, Vikings but the cloaked banshees is just doing too much damage there he's gonna fall back to where this overseer is morphing um, again and oh this random banshee he just aim moved it in the back and it is just doing so much damage over here it looks like it killed off an evo chamber um, is what I recall being there putting out more hydralisks I like this. Uh, no queens. He's just got so many hatcheries that he doesn't even qu need queens to spawn larvae right now. He's just got all hydralists he's producing right now. Here he comes in. He's broken down the debris. He's moving in her fight. Demaga just inching his way into TLO's base now. TLO has, is not mining at any other expansions. If he loses his base, he's going to be toast because Demaga is uh, mining the high yield right now. Bell Cruiser with massive amounts of SCVs uh, healing it, though. He needs to get some mules down on these minerals or something like that. Um, wow, this is insane. Um, just that one battle cruiser with massive um, SCVs repairing it was able to hold off for the moment. These hydras, they had to fall back, but I think it's just a matter of time. Yes, Demaga mounting more forces. He's got 33 hydralisks in play, um, 43 drones. Somehow, uh, TLO has 30 SCVs. I guess there's some still mining gas over here. So that's where they come from. And oh, oh, wrongly uh, routed the wrong way. He loses some more SCVs. Uh, anyway, so he's just got these battle cruisers, and that is it. And I, he needs 
you know, to be completely honest, I uh, I haven't seen the effect that mass battle cruisers have, but in general, they seem to do. Uh, they, they, I'm pretty sure they have some kind of a critical mass, especially against ground units that can't get too close to them. But this is not it. Here he comes in. This could be the final uh, curtain call. Uh, TLO is roasting tons of hydralis. They're burning up all over the place, but the battle cruiser is slow go slowly going down. SCV is repairing like crazy, but it's not quite enough. The DPS of the hydralis is just too much. And there's nothing that Tilo could do. He's having to float his command center away. And he is not... Never mind, he is mining over here. My bad. Um, I didn't see it taking the island over here. So he is mining that. He's got um, orbital commands around. He should drop some mules on these minerals. Uh, try and get some mining going in over here. But he's going to lose that extra expansion over there. So Damaga mining um, pretty well at this base. The high yield has mined out. So it's just one base versus one base, actually. And... Um, <laughs> but TLO has no army. He's got a few siege tanks. He's transitioned over to siege tanks. Um, he doesn't have upgrades on those, though. Um, but that is really a good move against these Hydralis to have those extra siege tanks around the Hellions as well to support against uh, any Zerglings are there. So it's good that he's uh, transitioned over from those air units. He spent so long building air units, and now he's finally transitioned over a little bit. A uh, few Hydralis coming in are going to get popped. Oh! Popped. Um... Just, uh, just destroyed. Uh, so anyway, TLO is mining off this base right now. Again, I have no idea why he's not dropping mules over here or something. Um, there we go. There's some mules dropping in. Uh, moving out, comsatting and trying to pick off these creep tumors now. Trying to establish a forward position so he can try and take this base again. But look at this. The hatch there is creep everywhere. Look at all these creep tumors all over the place. They are just disgustingly creeping up the entire map. You can look on the mini-map. There's just this swath of purple all over the place. The entire map has been creeped up. So even if he took control of this location, he's going to have to kill off all that creep before he can even... Um before he can start mining there. Well, he can mine there, but he's going to take a while before he can build a command center there. So many uh, creep tumors everywhere. I'm surprised he hasn't produced a raven in all of this just to help out with killing off creep tumors since there are so many creep tumors everywhere. Um, because of all those earlier queens. And here we go. Massive amounts of Hydralis going on here. And that's kind of cool. The light is shining on them. The spotlighting. I'm very interesting. Um, I don't know if he quite has enough. He's just got a few siege tanks. He needs more than those few siege tanks uh, to hold this off. He he's not even in siege mode. No, he needs to be in siege mode. Oh, caught out of siege mode. His position gets overrun from the flank. And TLO with no army left and no mining. GG's. Wow. That is ridiculous mass queens and zerglings I, that is <laughs> oh man it's like a joke strategy but in starcraft 2 apparently it's viable because here we have um you know two top level players duking it out and one of them going for what you would assume would be just a silly strategy um which actually ended up working it looked like he was about to finish uh, upgrading drop <laughs> So he could do a drop on this base as well um, to finish things off. Anyway, wow. So absolutely ridiculous. Mass queens. And he kind of persisted in those queens a little bit too long. He actually did surprisingly well considering uh, he did pretty well with those queens in general and was able to really fight off a lot. But, you know, he just didn't quite have the ground support for them. And the Vikings were able to land and polish off the queens, especially once the BCs got in the mix. Um, yeah, but brilliantly done. And then finally switching to Hydras. And TLO just persisted in the air too long. Um, maybe if he'd seen, if he'd switched in the siege tanks right when the hydras uh, started coming out, uh, he might have been able to deal with those hydras a little bit better. Uh, but s persisted in trying to build up air units, continued to try go BC Viking uh, um, Banshee, and uh, the hydras were just too powerful for that. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, GG. Take care.